What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network. And this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know. That's icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices in the world wide web. Before we get started, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And we're going to start it off with your boy, Drizzy Drake. Now, um, a lot of the prediction pages predicted Drake to go number one with SZA on Slime You Out. But then there are some pages that saying that Doja Cat, with the release of her new album, uh, Scarlet, that her song, Paint the Town Red, is going to be back in contention for number one. So... It's going to be interesting to see what happens, you know, since they were predicted to go back to number one. It's going to be interesting to see exactly what happens come Monday, or they're probably going to do it Tuesday. Whether Drake gets another number one, you know, with Scissor debuting at number one, or will Doja Cat go back to number one? We're going to get back to Doja Cat in a minute. Y'all let me know what, what, what y'all have been hearing. Are you been, have you been hearing Paint the Town Red number one, or have you been hearing um, have you been hearing a Drake song with SZA number one, or I think there's another song with SZA that's in the mix. I think another one of SZA songs. So we'll have to see. SZA's up in the mix with two songs, but let me know. Uh, what you think is going? What song you think is going back to number one next week? Moving on to Beyonce, she is home tonight, Houston, Texas, Renaissance tour, and we're going to see if Megan The Stallion is going to be performing with Beyonce. What am I talking about? Well, Megan The Stallion was set to perform. I believe it's at the Citizens uh, Festival. Forgot what the festival name is. It is the Global Citizen Festival. Now, remember, she was stated to perform there. She was originally stated to perform at the Global Citizen Festival. But then, around the 3rd of September, it said that she would no longer be performing at the, at the Global Citizen Festival in New York City. Right, um, she was supposed to be there with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Lauren Hill, John Cook, Anita. She was supposed to be there. I, I see Lotto made an appearance, but she was supposed to be over there. But they said because of conflict entrance, you know, because of of scheduling. Yeah, well, we see what the scheduling conflict was. She f forgot that Beyonce was going to be in Houston that weekend, and now it looks as though Beyonce has asked her to perform with her. Might even perform both nights. Might even perform Saturday and Sunday. So she chose to perform with Beyonce, allegedly. She hasn't come on stage yet because um, the Beyonce concert in Houston, Texas, what, what is Houston? Two hours behind Eastern Standard. So the concert should be starting soon. But um, she chose, allegedly, to take that performance with Beyonce over the festival, and they canceled her. They canceled her off the festival. A lot of people were upset. A lot of the fans that was paying to see Megan were upset. But you let me know whether you think, would you have done the same thing if you were Megan? I mean, listen, festival, Beyonce. Festival, Beyonce. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry, people at the Global Citizen Festival. I can perform there anytime. Um, I don't get every opportunity to perform with Beyonce. And if it comes to a toss-up, yeah, I I'm, I'm think I'm probably going to do exactly what Megan is allegedly doing. So we're going to see if Megan comes on, you know, to perform. Beyonce has been performing the Savage remix everywhere. And I think this is going to be the first time that she brings Megan on the stage, you know, on her Renaissance tour. Let me know down in the comments, you know, if you think Megan did the right thing. And we're going to close it out with Doja Cat. Doja! So, everybody is talking. I see some people laughing, you know, 
because there a lot of the platforms are reporting that Doja Cat is predicted to do between 50 and 55k um first week. She right that's what she's on pace. Now, of course, the pace could always pick up, but a lot of times when they set these paces and I'm like, how do they have this pace the record just dropped Friday? We're only on the record dropped a little more than 24 hours ago. So how do y'all know what it's going to do already? What if all of a sudden next week it just start, you know, people just start going crazy with it after they've been hearing about it and stuff like that. I mean, but these prediction pages have a way of of being close. If they're not one of the accurate, they have a way of being close. They're saying Doja's going to do 50 and 50, between 50 and 55k. And I see a lot of people laughing saying that's a flop and on top of that saying it's going to debut in the top 10, but it's not saying it's going to debut number one. And um, a lot of people are laughing and, and saying, oh, that's what she gets. Oh, she's a flop. Oh, her new music don't resonate. Let, let's let's go over a couple of things first and foremost. If you listen to Stan Twitter, right? If you listen to Stan Twitter, you would think that Planet Her was the biggest selling rap album from female ever. It set a lot of streaming records, but remember, Planet Her only did 108K first week or 103 or something like that. I think did 108K and the albums never went to number one. So, but if the way you see people talking about Planet Her, like it's all, oh, it's one of the greatest albums ever, it's set in the third, and it did 108, Megan's Good News did 100K, and everybody said it was a flop. Doja Cat did 108, and everybody talked about what a great album it is. Right? But I'm here to tell you, Doja Cat Scarlet debuts with 26 million streams on Spotify. It earns the biggest opening day from an album by a female rapper since hers, Planet Her, in 2021, when she debuted at 108. Or, and I don't know what her streams were that year, but she debuted uh, the top streams. Scarlet breaks the record for the biggest streaming debut for a female rap album in Spotify history. Not just this year, not just since like, in Spotify history, 26 million. Now I know people are saying, oh, most of that is Paint the Town Red. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Paint the Town, it, it all counts for the same album. It doesn't matter if a lot of them are Paint the Town Red. And it's now, it also says Doja Cat now holds the top two biggest album debuts for a female rapper in Spotify history. Um, right, that's Spotify. We're not talking about Billboard. Of course, that's invasion of privacy. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, we thought that Doja Cat, you know, everybody's talking about this and talking about that. Um... You know, people are saying, look at these people, your age clowns Doja Cat for selling 55K first week after selling her soul. Selling your soul to the devil for 55K is crazy. Now, a lot of ignorant people that don't know anything about the music business, right? Doja Cat set to sell 55K. That, that's not including um, pure sales. 55K units, all right? You have to sell 1,500 streams for, to equal one unit, all right? 1,500 streams equal one unit. So if she's doing 55,000, not counting pure sales, so that's pretty much from stream sales, you would have to times 55,000 units times 1,350, you know, uh, excuse me, 1,250 streams and each of them equal one sale. So now you're doing 55,000 
right, times 1,250. Do you know that 625 million streams? 625 million streams this record is going to do first week. And y'all are sitting around talking about, oh, the, uh, she's flopping because she's only going to sell 55K. People are not selling records like they used to. Right? People not you, look at look at everybody that's talking about the album though. Kelly Rowland, this album is so good. Kazmer, I'ma be honest about this Doja Cat. These girls aren't touching her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, you know, a lot of people talk about this is gonna be a a, a Grammy winning album. Everybody's talking about it. Right? So, you know, Doja Cat was saying she wants to be like J. Cole. She considers J. Cole the greatest rap of all time. You know, but all of these streams, they're saying Doja Cat owns the top three biggest solo streaming debuts for a female rapper on Global Spotify this year. So, Doja Cat is fine. There's people, no one cares no one cares about uh, uh, Ebro. People acting like they don't hear this Doja Cat album. S is fire. And then you know these people who know nothing about music. Oh, Doja Cat selling her soul to him for only to sell 55K. Like, stupidest people, man, know nothing about hip hop. Nothing. They, I mean, they know nothing about the music business. Nothing. So Doja Cat, you know, Adele talking about um, a Doja Cat's album. You know what I'm saying? So you have all these stars and all these people um, talking about Doja Cat's album. And you people are worrying about 55K. You sound stupid. You sound stupid. You're, you are mocking Doja Cat and making fun of Doja Cat for 625 million streams. 625 million streams. It's crazy. Y'all need to act, y'all need to find out about the music business and stop talking about stuff you have no idea what you're talking about. Who sells more? What female rapper is, is going to sell 55K? You've seen them all put their projects out. Did any of them come close to 55K? Lotto didn't. Coyla Ray didn't. Glorilla didn't. Ice Spice didn't. Megan sold 60 with Traumazine. So she's going to be right up there, and she's not even a, a fully a rapper. This is like her first real rap album. But the quality of her music is better than everybody's. So far, from what I've heard, this is a this album is close to hearing the closest I've heard to hearing '90s rap, '90s early 2000 rap that I've heard in years. So Doja Cat, keep doing your thing, and I, I, I hate people who do not know the music business out here talking music business because they see somebody tweet, oh, selling your soul for 55K is crazy. And then everybody wants to copy that tweet. So let me know down in the comments, if you think 625 million streams is a flop, you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. And you really should shut up. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.